So you finally finished building your Bubble application and you're ready to deploy your app to your own custom domain name. Now the first thing you need to do to connect up your domain to your Bubble app is pick a plan. So in your Bubble account, go to settings on the left hand side, go to app plan, and then choose a plan that fits your particular needs for your app. Now for most people, this will be the personal plan, which is 32 US dollars per month, or a little bit cheaper if you choose to go with an annual plan. Once you've put in your credit card information, set up that plan, you're then good to go to start connecting your domain. Now the domain connection is really, really simple. Again, just go to settings, then domain, email, tab up the top, and you'll see an input that says domain name, example.com, and then from here, you can actually input your domain and then click on set up this domain. The first thing you need to do before actually starting this process is to make sure you've actually bought a domain and registered it with a domain registrar. In the UK or the US, you can use a service like GoDaddy or Google Domains or any local DNS or domain provider relevant to your country or location. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to use a test domain, which I haven't registered, but just for indicative purposes, I'll put in abcdomain.com. Here, you would obviously put your domain that you've purchased and then click on set up this domain. Give it a few seconds. It will then show a pop-up asking for a Google Maps key. For now, we can just click on cancel and then we get a long list of records that we need to add to our DNS uh, provider settings for our particular domain name. Now all of these DNS records are specific to Bubble and Cloudflare, so all you need to do is go to your GoDaddy or your Google Domains account or whatever domain registrar you use and then create all of these individual records. Now as you can see each record is an A record. Depending on your level of understanding of DNS records there's multiple different types. There's C names, uh, text records, SPF records, many, many different types, but for the purposes of connecting up your Bubble account, you just need to create A records. For name, depending on your registrar, you will either leave this blank or you will put the at symbol. And then the value will be this IP address here. And you'll want to create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records. However, depending on the domain structure that you use, it may be slightly different in terms of what you see here. But the key thing is to connect and create each DNS record in your domain DNS settings with your provider exactly as shown. So in this instance, there's four A records that will use either a blank space or an at uh, host or name. And then the value will have to be one record for each of these. And then we have another four, again, A records of www as the host or the name pointing to these four IP addresses. Once you've created all of those records in your DNS account, click on check my settings. And what will probably happen is it will throw some errors and say we found some bad DNS records. This usually just means, especially if it's a fresh domain, that the DNS settings haven't had time to propagate. Now what that means is it can take anywhere from 1 to 24 hours, sometimes a little bit more, but, but most of the time less than that uh, to reflect and for other services like Bubble to actually find those records on your domain name. So don't panic, don't go to create a support ticket or worry too much if that does happen and it doesn't say that things are set up correctly. Give it about 24 hours, try and hit check my settings again and then hopefully it will say everything is connected successfully and you can then deploy your application to your brand new domain name and you can launch your app. If you do have any problems with that, you can speak to your domain registrar. Again, that could be GoDaddy, Google Domains, whoever that is, um, and provide these records to them and ask them to add it to your domain name. And usually in 99% of cases, those registrars will be more than happy to do that on your behalf if you're a little bit worried about making any mistakes with actually creating these records for you. Now, once everything's connected up and you've connected your domain, you can then go up to the top right corner, click on main, and then deploy your application to live, 
and it will uh, deploy your latest version to your domain name. That step isn't necessarily required in all uh, instances and all situations, but if your app is ready to go and you want to just push everything through to your domain and have the latest version live, then you can follow those steps. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out in the comments of this video or go to my website www.creatorconcepts.co.uk and I'll be more than happy to help over live chat or set up a Zoom call with you and walk you through it. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one.